Hello, hello, it's Tori from Calypso Creative Planning and in today's video, we're gonna be doing a digital plan with me so you guys can see how I created this weekly spread in my teal undated planner in a dashboard layout, so stay tuned. Okay, so for this spread, I'm using my teal undated multi layout planner and I've already got my dashboard layout page pulled in. So I'm going to start pulling stickers from several different sources. The first one is from Lux Books in the Love to Layer 2 collection. And I have a little bit of an idea of what I want to do for this, um, but not completely. So I'm just going to start pulling in sets of stickers from different vendors and layering on here. I've got to where this is kind of like my, my current style of doing things where I just like to basically just load the pages up with stickers and stickers and stickers. And then once pretty much everything's loaded in then start moving stuff around um, because I don't really go into this with an exact idea of what I want to do um, I, some things I do know like that last pink sticker I pulled in and this marble sticker I kind of know what I'm gonna do with it but for the most part I don't have a, a full overview a full full idea of what I want for, for this spread so I'm just kind of pulling in tons and tons of things. Um, this is a great set from Strawberry Printables. It's the Queen Bee set. These stickers are so freaking pretty. So pretty. So I'm a little obsessed with them right now. So I'm going to pull in several of those until I figure out what I want. Um, at the end of the week, I did end up pulling in a couple more from this set because they're just so pretty. Um, this set is actually where I got the idea for this spread. I wanted to do something really pink and pretty. Um, so that's kind of like the inspiration. This is also from Strawberry Printables. This is the Maritime Washi set. It's so cute because I love the color scheme. I love that there's blues and pinks. There's long washi tapes like this. There's the square ones, the little banner ones that I know I'm going to use for my, uh, my dates. And I love these little, the little short washies. They're so pretty. They're, they've got this slightly transparent look like actual washi tape. So it's not just like a solid bar. That's probably why it's, it's my current washi favorite. Um, but of course, Lux Books. I mean, you can't go wrong with Lux Books stickers. So uh, you'll see a few different sets like this one. This is the Paper Chaser set also from Lux Books and the Cover Girl, Cover Girl collection, really pretty. I'm going to use the days from those and then the gold from the Golden Violet set from the Digital Siren, super pretty. I think pink and gold, you, I mean you can't go wrong with pink and gold and black and white. I mean you just can't. It's just really pretty. So these are going to be my dates. And I love the little arrows and the, the months. So those are coming in here too. Um, I need to get the year. Sometimes I end up forgetting to put the month and the year. Um, I don't always put the year because, I mean, the planner is for that year. But sometimes I actually forget to throw the month in there. So that's not good. But like I said before, I had this idea of what I wanted to use this sticker for. So I knew that I wanted it. I'm rotating it and I'm going to fill it into this little box. I'm using the image tool so that I can stretch it and fit it in here nicely to cover that at the bottom. Don't forget, I've got a special discount for YouTube viewers. So use that in my shop. Um, 
this this long washi might be my favorite from strawberry printables i ended up using it several times throughout the week for this particular week when i was doing my daily spreads because it's just so freaking pretty so now i'm getting my august 2020 and i don't want it layered up like that i want them to be closer to the same size 2020 is a little bit smaller in there I love this little pink background sticker, so I don't want to use these lines, so I'm covering it up. Um, that's one of the fun things to do with stickers is to basically change up the layouts for your page templates. So covering up lines is just a simple thing you can do. And I love to layer, so of course I'm going to layer. And being a little perfectionist, got to get it down to where I still see the little gray line around it. Um, but I'm using the shape tool here to draw a black box so it's a little more bold. And as you can see, I can't draw a straight line to save my life, especially not on the iPad. So by using the shape tool, it straightens it out for me. So it's just super easy to draw a shape. <laughs> and I like that it gives it a little bit of a, a little bit bolder line around that. And this is going to be my weekly to-do list, so I'm putting a little banner up here. One thing about the dashboard layout is if you want a lot of decoration, then your layout ends up being mainly about, I mean, unless you write super small, it's going to be like your, your main um, highlights for the week, not all the nitty-gritty details. So when I use the dashboard layout like this for the week, I tend to also use daily spreads um, either every day or you know just the days that I need extra stuff for this week I did end up using a daily spread every single day um, so if I by the time this video comes out if I haven't already put up a flip through of this week with all the dailies if it's not up already it will be so look for that um, because this week turned out really, just really pretty. So that's why I'm going to share the whole thing with you guys. For the days, since I want to layer them over the washi, I'm using the trick of cutting and pasting so that it, you know, I can put those on top instead of it being behind. And I'm just going to relocate these so that each one goes with the days. And I like that the, the layered look of that dark pink washi with the black on top. Now I'm going to use this little washi banner from Strawberry Printables and I'm going to size it up and this is where I'm going to put um, the dates for, for each day of the week. So like the numbers. And once I get two, it's really easy to just copy and do two at a time instead of doing them all singles. And I know there's other stuff in the way. Don't worry, it'll get moved. I'm going to shift these things around. And now I just need to size up my numbers to go on top of those little banners. Once again, cut and paste. And then I can put them on here. I think they're still a little big, so we're going to size them down just a little bit. And once again, I just love how gold and pink and black and white looks together. So this is a very pink girly spread. And if you stay tuned to the end of this video, um, it'll flip around and I'll show you the after the pin spread that, you know, at the end of the week, what it all came out to be. And I don't know how, but it ended up even more pink and girly. So if you like pink and girly planner spreads, this might be the one for you because it's definitely that. I love this little pink washi with the little gold dots. It's so pretty. But we're going to cut and paste so that goes behind and resize so it sticks out a little bit. And this is going to be my note about my new volume in my collage series starting that day. And I mentioned these arrows. They're so cute. I ended up using more of these arrows throughout the week because I liked how they worked out. All right, so I'm using this square washi from Strawberry Printables and I'm making it more of a rectangle so that I can 
layer up things. So I'm going to put this quote on it, but I decide I need to use a background. So that's what this is going to be used for. And I used to, when I first started planning with it, paper planning and digital planning, I did not like things to overlap too much. And look at me now, overlapping everything. What can I say? I love to layer now. So this bottom section, I'm going to use this for my goals, um, any notes, anything like that. And I'm layering up this quote. And this, this box up here at the top, the little round circle, I'm going to get another one of these pink um, header boxes to go along with it. I'm going to use that as a reminder about the Ink and Pine boot camp that I'm doing this week. And I love this little crystal piece, so I need to figure out a spot for it. There it works great. This little floral stem, super pretty, by the way. I'm going to put it there. Move some stuff out of the way. It's really cute. Let's see, what else do I need? Oh yes, this weekend I need to do invoices. So I'm going to pull in a payday sticker first on the 15th, you guys. All right, what else do I need from the digital siren? I think, I think that's it. I ended up using more of those arrows, so I just copied that one. Um, going to layer up some washi, more pink and gold washi. And ended up deciding not to use a couple of these things. I'm going to layer this up. You know, layering's fun. And copy this pink box. I ended up using this pink box in a couple of different places um, when everything was all said and done at, by the end of the week. So, okay, that's, that's it, you guys. This spread is done. I love how it turned out. And... Here is the after at the end of the week. See you next time.